Psychological hurdle as much as anything. Finding a racket that felt like an extension of my hand was was not easy, and then switching to the X Red felt really comfortable, and it was giving me more than than uh, than my prior racket was giving me. It's giving me more stick on the ball, but it still felt comfortable. I could still create angles, and for me, that's that's what I'm looking for. I, when I'm on the court playing, I don't want to ever look at my racket and wonder if I made a mistake, whether it's because the racket did something that I wasn't expecting. I want to know what's coming from the racket, and, and that's why the X-Red was a, a really easy switch for me. It felt very natural. When a racket it becomes an extension of your hand, you're no longer thinking about your equipment at all. You're thinking about, what do I need to do to beat this player on the other side of the net? So if you're wondering about your equipment, even one or two percent of the time, that's one or two percent too, too often. Well, it's, uh, it's, it's a little thicker racket than, uh, than the X-Red, um, than that series. And it just, it has a little bit more pop to it. Um, I'm not the, the savant of technology to tell you exactly why. I mean, we have to ask the engineers. Um, why that's the case, I just know it to be true. I know that, that it's easier power for me consistently. Well, I think equipment becomes more and more important for an aging tennis player. I've certainly found that. I've, I'm getting the benefit of now playing with uh, the XP Duel, which has more power than the X-Red, and that's making it easier on my body. And I think that's one of the real benefits of the, the advances in technology in tennis is, is you really can take advantage of, of what's out there I've tried plenty of rackets that are hollow, which a uh, predominant racket on, uh, in the marketplace tend to be these days. And I'm much more comfortable and feel the ball in a different way when, the, when it's a solid core racket. I just feel the ball much more. When, when you talk about racket becoming an extension of, of your hand, whenever I've tried rackets that are you know, nuclear, for lack of a better word, huge power, hollow rackets, really light, um, I, I can't feel the ball in the racket. It just explodes off of there, and I don't know where the ball's going. Yeah. And when I play with, with uh, the Donne rackets and their solid core rackets, I know where the ball's going, and I know who to blame when I miss, and I also take the credit when I make a shot. So uh, the racket becomes part of me, and, and I don't have to wonder. And, uh, and I hate wondering too much when I'm on the tennis court. <laughs> I like to wonder off court. Lots of wondering off the court. Don't want to wonder on the court too much. What I find with, with this Zine Core technologies, I find that, that the rackets are pretty vibration sensitive already. You, know, you don't really have to add vibration dampener unless you just like the look and feel of that. I do know that uh, you know, my arm's been very, very comfortable with the Donne sticks. I've had no problems. Historically, I had some wrist issues when I was a younger player, when I was in my 20s. Um, from the way I hit the ball, I you know, like catch the forehand a little bit like that, and especially on the forehand volley, I would have some some tenderness right in here, and and no problems at all with Adane so far. So, knock on wood, I'm doing all right.